It's 2023 and we've got some familiar names winning events on the ATP Tour. It is, of course, Andy Murray and Kay Nishikori. Let's get straight into the news and we've got this tweet here from the Challenger Tour confirming Andy Murray has claimed his second ATP Challenger title in a row. He's just won Nottingham. He won another event last week on the grass courts. We know it's his best surface. We've got Wimbledon on the horizon and Andy Murray is back with his metal hip winning tennis matches and trophies. I mean, you've got to get excited about this. He's just such an icon for British tennis. I know Ben is a massive fan of him. I was as well. I've not really been much of an Andy Murray fan since his heyday at Wimbledon, but he's playing very well right now. And when you're looking at it, there's not many players who historically can challenge Novak Djokovic on a grass court. Maybe this is the guy who can do it. And we've also had the return of another legend. This is Kai Nishikori. He's been off for 20 months with an injury. I mean, I thought he'd retired. I've not seen him for so long, um, but he is back. And the former world number four claims the title in his first tournament back. The one thing I would say is it wasn't the most impressive field. He played on a hard court challenger event in which there wasn't many top players, but still, He's not played tennis, and I think it's remarkable to still go and win five matches in a row to win the event. So congratulations to him. And it's crazy, really. These two winning is just like rolling back the years. And this tweet here from Bastian Facken highlights it because February 17th, 2008, Andy Murray won Marseille. Kaina Shikori won Delray Beach. And exactly 5,600 days later, granted they're both challenger events now, but Andy Murray wins Nottingham and Kaina Shikori wins the Palmas del Mar. And just goes to show, never give up, keep playing tennis because you can still do special things at an older age. Uh, moving on to the next one. This is Andy Murray now is up to 38 in the ATP ranking. He's best in over five years. And that means one more win at the Queen's Club will be enough for him to be a seeded player at Wimbledon. And he's always spoke about how that is his real goal. And listen, it doesn't really matter because he'll be playing Wimbledon regardless uh, to whether he's a seed or not. I don't think he would ever have to go through qualifying there. He will always have a spot at Wimbledon. Um, my big thing is I think he can challenge. I really do. I think he can go deep into a second week if his body allows him to. Uh, he's also top 30 in the ATP race to Turin, just going to show that he's been the top 30 players on tour, despite all of the hardship and injuries he's had to go through. We've got Andy Murray on Twitter, congratulating Kaini Shikori, winning on his comeback. Andy knows too well what it's like to come back after a long time off. And the last one is how successful Andy is on the grass court. That today is his 10th career grass court crown. Queen's Club, you can see five. Wimbledon, two. Suburban Challengers, one. Nottingham, one. And London Olympics. So the two challengers have come back to back the last few weeks. Uh, but before, he's got some of the highest accolades in the sport, being Wimbledon, which is just around the corner. Can he go far? I really hope so. But there we go. That's enough from me. Congratulations to Nishikori and Andy Murray. I'm excited they're back playing good tennis. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. And if you haven't already, hit the like button and subscribe if you're new.